Hi, my name is Afitia. And my name is Denise. We will be telling the story of ATP Synthase, the Chemiosmotic Gradient, and ATP Production Celebrity Edition. I'm tired of listening to these debakey kids. Let's just get into the episode already. Whoa, whoa, hold your horses, Kylie Jenner. First, we want to clarify some things. We refer to the hydrogen ion as protons because the hydrogen ion is structurally one proton. Secondly, ATP synthase is found in both the mitochondria and the chloroplast. Thirdly, our protons are represented by celebrities. And one Tabaki student. OMG, I'm so excited to go to the Met Gala hosted by Ms. Maharaj's AP Biology class. The famous Ms. Maharaj herself? Wow. Hey guys, it's Nicki Minaj. The super fans are here. We need to leave before they hunt us down. And the celebrities quickly escape. They travel through protein complexes, which are the limousine, out into the intermembrane space or the thylakoid space. Some celebrities choose to stay because they love their fans that much. What up, my ladies, my believers? This distribution creates a proton gradient, where the proton concentration is higher outside the membrane than inside. This gradient is also called the proton motive force because it stores energy that is used to drive protons slash celebrities back across the membrane through ATP synthase. This coupling of the exergonic flow of the protons to the endergonic phosphorylation of ATP via ATP synthase is called chemiosmotic gradient. We're going to be late to the Met Gala. Let's hurry. I want to meet Ms. Maharaj. We all look crusty. Let's stop by the boutique to glam up. Let's have a look at ATP synthase, which is the boutique. First, let's flow down our proton gradient and enter a channel in the stator. In celebrity terms, <laughs> this is called a door. <laughs> Note that the stator is anchored in the membrane. Then, the celebrity protons enter the rotor, or dressing room, and go into the individual changing rooms, which are the binding sites in the rotor. There are eight total changing rooms, or synthase subunits. Do you like my suit, Taylor? It's so ugly. Kanye, is your suit even the right size? I don't know. The celebrities get dressed and glam up, and they all do a single complete turn in front of the mirror. This represents the proton making one complete turn before leaving the rotor. Oh my gosh, I hear the paparazzi. Let's walk through the red carpet, which is the second channel in the stator. Let's go, guys. Meanwhile, in the dressing room... I can't decide on a dress. Let me call in my proton clones. Are y'all up there? The continuous spinning of the rotor, which Kylie Jenner may or may not have caused by being indecisive, causes the internal rod to spin as well. This rod is connected to the knob below. Little did Kylie know that beneath the dressing room were the lights and music staff of the Met Gala party. Ugh, that sounds like Kylie Jenner up there. Let's turn on the party lights now. The turning of the rod, which was caused by Kylie Jenner's commotion, activated the catalytic sites in the knob, which are the dressing room staff. This light turning on symbolizes the phosphorylation of ADP into ATP. Kylie Jenner finally decided on the controversial blue and black dress. She meets everyone else at the party in the mitochondrial matrix slash stroma. Oh my believer, Kylie, I didn't know you were a quadruplet. I couldn't decide what to wear, so I just cloned myself. This represents that for every four proton ions that pass through ATP synthase, one ATP is produced. Each ATP is represented by each flicker of the disco ball lights. And as long as the proton motive force is maintained, ATP can be formed. What are we waiting for? Let's have this proton party. Yeah!